Investing is easy as pie with M1 Finance. Let's take a look. So today I'm going to show you a M1 Finance easy as pie pie that I created. Um, if you're not familiar with M1 Finance, it's a free online investment account. So if you're new to investing, M1 Finance makes it easy. And I've took the liberty to create you an easy as pie investing pie. And if you're brand new to investing, I suggest to keep it simple and stay diversified. And with this pie, you are extremely diversified. Now, uh, I'm going to leave a link down below. Uh, this month, if you invest $100 in M1, you open your account with the link I share and you deposit $100, M1 Finance is going to give you $20. They're also going to give me $20. Win, win. Can't beat that. That's a 20% return right off the bat. Man, let's get it done. So, what's involved in this easy as pie investing? It's simply two ETFs go down here and I'll show you one is VT which is the total world stock index and BND which is the total bond market has extremely low expense ratios gives you a 2.4 percent dividend yield and when I say extremely diversified this is extremely diversified so we'll look go over here to seeking alpha and we'll look at the holdings of VT and VT is, like I said, total world stock market ETF. So invest in the total world stock market. And if you come down here and look at the total holdings, so with that one buy, you literally invest in 7,966 companies around the world. And in the bond holdings, the BND, if we take a look here, it's the total bond market. And you're, with that one buy, you're exposed to 17,358 bond holdings. So when you talk about diversified, these two are it. And M1 Finance it makes it super simple. Um, to invest, um, you you set up the pie, and I'm gonna I'm gonna share this pie with you, and you just deposit money, and M1 Finance automatically invest it into the holdings that you have. Um, and this I have this set as as a 50/50 stock and bond mix. But you can definitely change that, and it's super simple with M1. You just click Edit, and let's say you wanted a 70% stock and a 30% bond exposure. You just click Save, and there you go. And then M1 Finance, what it'll do when they when that hundred dollars you put in plus the twenty, but let's just keep a hundred dollars that you put in it's going to put 70 percent so 70 dollars into the VT and 30 dollars into the BND and what you do is you just uh, set this uh, up for automatic investing it doesn't matter uh, M1 Finance does have a ten dollar minimum before it initiates a buy so if you wanted to do ten dollars a month super simple it'll just invest 70% uh, of it in VT and 30% of it in the BND. If you wanted to invest $100 a month, you just automate this thing and, and let M1 do it for you. These 
online stock I don't know if I don't even know if I want to call them brokers but they're more like apps because you can also do this straight on your cell phone uh, the only thing you'll have to do is link up your bank to, to fund it um, but they're making it super simple to invest now that with M1 it actually makes it a little fun because you get to play around with it a little bit but that's also a little bit of a drawback because for the most part buy and hold long term with a portfolio like this you're going to come out ahead if you don't mess with it um, a lot of times us as investors we sit there and and we uh, adjust and and sell in and out of, of stocks when if we just buy it hold it fund it for decades you're gonna come out ahead and M1 finance is the easiest way to do that so like I said I'm gonna leave a link down below if you fund an M1 account with a hundred dollars with the pie that I share you get 20 bucks I get 20 bucks win-win situation I'm gonna do a deep dive a, a deeper dive into my own M1 portfolio soon um, I don't have much much in it uh, that's because I'm funding my Roth as a priority I'm trying to max that out for the year so my M1 account is is really small but uh, I really like the pie you're gonna you're gonna like it I'll go through it and uh, we might do that tomorrow so stay tuned like subscribe share comment because I love the comments like to uh, get some dialogue with you guys uh, until next time stay investing